To help you with this repair, it's probably useful if you understood what's inside the wall. Now, here in America, home walls are usually constructed out of 2x4s and sheetrock. The sheetrock is an okay building material, but it's easy to get holes in and it's fairly weak. So towel holders and things mounted to the wall that don't hit a stud and aren't secured into the lumber inside the wall usually end up pulling loose if anything's yanked or weight is put on it. This one on the left is secured into a stud. The one on the right is coming loose. It's ready to rip out. In fact, if you pulled it, it's coming right off. So we'll start by removing this bracket. Usually there's a screw underneath. Use a small flathead screwdriver. Any paper that's lifted up, you can tell if you move your finger across it, it'll make a different kind of sound. So I'm gonna remove everything that's become crumbling or torn. So rather than just patch this with more joint compound and put in those anchors again, I'm gonna give something for those screws to bite into and hold. So I grabbed a scrap piece of wood that's about an inch and a half wide and three quarters of an inch thick. And I'm gonna widen the hole so that this wood can go inside the wall. Next, insert the piece of wood into the wall as high as it can go. I'm gonna mark the bottom where I can slip it through the hole. Then I'm gonna cut this part off here. So we're getting the maximum length of wood that we can possibly fit in the wall. All right, the wood's cut to the right length, so now we have to glue it and screw it to the wall on the inside. So how do we do that? We're gonna wrap a rubber band around it. And sorry, my hand is blocking the shot here. It'll help if you put a mark in the middle of the wood so when it's in the hole, you can line it up to the middle of the hole. Okay, slip something through the rubber band and it'll hold it tight against the wall. You can drill a little pilot hole and then add some screws. You don't have to wait for the glue to dry. You can put in some joint compound. And don't worry about the first coat looking pretty. Once it's totally dry, give it a sanding. I have a sanding sponge. These are really handy and give it another coat, let it dry, and if you need to, do it three or four times. And make sure you wipe off all the excess dust. Then at least two coats of paint. So now when we're mounting this bracket, it's attaching to a piece of wood that's behind the wall, so it's much more secure. And that's about it. It's a fairly simple repair, not much trouble at all. I will see you next time, and have an awesome day.